There are many other things besides food that actually cause blood sugar levels to spike. Many of you know that what we eat usually defines how our blood sugar levels will be for the day. If we eat things that are high in sugar, like ice cream, pasta, white bread, candy, that will certainly spike our blood sugar levels. However, there are many different things that may, you may not be aware of that actually cause blood sugar levels to rise, and you may be very confused as to what's going on. On today's episode, I am going to talk about those things that can actually cause blood sugars to rise and things that you can do about it. Before we get started, this is your host, Diana Butucci. I'm an APRN here in the United States. I manage diabetes every single day and it's my passion to teach and educate all of you so we can beat diabetes together. Please consider subscribing to my channel, share this video with others that you feel it may be helpful for. All right, let's dive straight into it. Number one is going to be your common winter colds or the flu. We know that the flu can be very detrimental for a lot of people. Unfortunately, with people with diabetes have a harder time and can actually have more severe symptoms. Therefore, people with the flu tend to have higher blood sugar levels. Therefore, we recommend getting the flu vaccine, and that is a recommendation from the CDC, so that if you do get the flu, the symptoms will be lessened. Even the common cold can actually raise up your blood sugar levels. The hormones that are released when you are not feeling well and your body's trying to fight off the stress of the illness actually it increases your blood sugar levels. Often, I have patients who are sick and they will stop their medications or stop their insulin thinking they don't need them because they're not eating. That's actually not true. When you are sick, you have to make sure you are still taking your medications as prescribed and you want to stay in close contact with your doctor and let them know so they can adjust your medications accordingly. Don't be surprised if you're requiring more insulin than usual if you are sick. Because when you are sick, your body is under a lot more stress and therefore you may require more insulin, not less insulin. So you want to make sure you're checking your blood sugars very closely and monitoring them on a regular basis. That way you can make the appropriate adjustments. Number two, some eye drops. So we use these to reduce some itching during the seasonal allergies. And believe it or not, some of them can actually have some steroid in them and can cause blood sugar levels to spike. This ties in with some nasal sprays as well. Often if we use nasal sprays for some stuffiness, we can see an increase in blood sugar levels as well. Number three, smoking. I mean, this should come to no surprise. We know that people who are smokers tend to have higher blood sugar levels. Studies show that over time, nicotine changes your body's cells so that they no longer respond to insulin and therefore we have higher blood sugar levels. Smoking causes more insulin resistance, which is what we don't want. We wanna be more insulin sensitive, not more insulin resistant. Because of smoking and it changes the cells internally, people who smoke chronically tend to have less response to the insulin. They will see higher blood sugar levels chronically. Number four, dehydration. We know that drinking water is very important with diabetes. If you're not drinking enough water, the glucose can become more concentrated and therefore we we tend to have higher blood sugar readings. You wanna make sure you're staying well hydrated so that you help the kidneys flush and get rid of the extra sugar in your bloodstream that you don't need. Number five, sunburn or pain. Now we know that sunburn can cause pain. It can cause a lot of internal inflammation and stressors. Therefore, that can actually cause higher blood sugar levels. Often patients who are in pain for other reasons, maybe chronic back pain or hip pain, knee pain, whatever it may be, we tend to see those patients have higher blood sugar levels because of the pain response internally that causes a lot of these hormones to be released causing higher blood sugar levels. So we always wanna make sure we're managing the pain or the burn or whatever it may be so that we can also help the patient control the blood sugar levels. This ties into number six, which is blisters and infections. Sometimes even having a blister from the wrong footwear can actually increase blood sugar levels, which is why it's so important that you have the proper fitted shoes so you can prevent blisters or moistures that can lead to blisters from developing. That goes hand in hand with infections. Infections also trigger many different things to be released inside of your body, a lot of different hormones released, and therefore you will have higher blood sugar levels. When a patient has an acute infection going on, those patients tend to require more medications or more insulin or whatever the regimen is that we're we're working with them, we need to adjust it. So anytime you have something going on like an illness or an infection, 
you want to make sure you're monitoring your blood sugars very closely, staying in close contact with your doctor, and never ever discontinue anything without touching base with your doctor first. A lot of people who stop the medications have very high blood sugar levels, and they end up in the emergency room with blood sugars in the 600 range. Therefore, we want to make sure we're preventing that. The lack of sleep or poor sleep. We know that sleep is very important for our bodies to get there enough rest. So actually they did a large study at the University of Chicago and they had a group that only got four hours of sleep versus the recommended eight hours of sleep. And what they noticed is those people that did not sleep enough and they only slept for four hours actually had a, a lower glucose response after meals by 40%. So that is almost in half and therefore they had significantly higher blood sugar levels after meal. So they were not able to break down the glucose the way that they should just because of lack of sleep and therefore they saw higher blood sugar levels throughout a 24 hour period. Therefore, if you're not sleeping well and all of a sudden you're noticing higher blood sugar levels, it can be very well that the sleep is unfortunately affecting your blood sugar levels and you wanna make sure that you're addressing the sleep problem so that you can get the sugars under control. We wanna make sure our body's resting, otherwise our body can't function properly. Number eight is certain medications, believe it or not, can actually cause blood sugar levels to spike. We know that some beta blockers that are used to control the heart rate and also blood pressure can cause blood, blood pressure spikes. Some cholesterol medications and things that we use to lower triglycerides like niacin and vitamin B3 can cause blood sugar levels to spike. Antidepressants, steroids, and certain antibiotics can also raise our blood sugar levels. So just be mindful of that. If you are in one of those and you're noticing your sugars are more erratic, they're higher, you can certainly let your doctor know and they can adjust your medications accordingly. Number nine, this is for all the females out there with diabetes, is hormonal fluctuations. When women are menstruating, unfortunately, their bodies become more insulin resistant and less insulin sensitive. So remember, we want to be more insulin sensitive and less insulin resistant. Therefore, during that week, you could see fluctuations in your blood sugar levels and they can rise. So you want to be mindful of that. I normally recommend for my women in my practice, staying very active during that week and you know of course getting the proper hydration and just being mindful of what they're eating number 10 is living in higher altitudes so obviously living in higher altitudes can cause a rise in blood sugar levels so just be mindful of that if you are traveling number 11 is gingivitis or gum disease we know that you know gum disease is one of the major issues with people with diabetes Unfortunately, a lot of diabetics tend to develop gingivitis or gum disease. So you want to make sure you're getting very good oral care, you know, following up with your dentist on a regular basis, getting cleanings at least every six months or as recommended by your dentist. But you want to make sure you're keeping your teeth very, very clean because having gum disease can raise our blood sugar levels. And obviously that makes it more difficult for us to control diabetes. 12, lack of exercise. I mean, no surprise here. We know that activity is very important for keeping blood sugar levels down and keeping them normalized because when we exercise, we take the glucose out of the bloodstream. We put in the muscle for energy. Therefore, we burn that glucose and the blood sugar levels tend to be better. So if you're not moving, make sure you're moving, walking, running, swimming, bicycling, whatever it is that you enjoy get moving that's going to be the key to getting your sugars under control number 13 is extreme temperatures hot or cold so winter time or very hot in the summertime they can actually cause blood sugar levels to go either way so there's no you know it's all individualized based on the person i mean the heat tends to make blood sugar levels higher because of dehydration and can make the blood a little bit more concentrated but not always for some people it can actually cause low blood sugar levels so doing extreme temperatures, you just want to be mindful and monitor your blood sugars very closely. Maybe wear a continuous glucose monitor so you know what's going on. And number 14 is traveling. I'm not saying don't travel. I encourage traveling, but be mindful that, you know, time zones can also change blood sugar levels. But we tend to sometimes not take the medications as regularly. We're eating a little bit differently. Maybe we're not exercising on vacation. So you want to be mindful if you're traveling, try to keep the routine that you have at home. You can still enjoy your vacation, have a great time, but still watch your portion control and try to eat and make better choices whenever you can. Please let me know other things that cause your blood sugar levels to be higher, and I will see you all on the next video.